Here we are again, more experimentation, more fun. We're finally going to do a volumetric measurement of how much gas is produced. We're going to accomplish that because we have this uh, full liter and a half Listerine bottle. It's in my old water and it's been filled and then the neck was put down in there. Volume measurement. We're going to go to the stack cell. Polarity, neutral polarity. Uh, I'm not really as excited with the output as as some people have been, but right now it's at rest. It's not plugged in. No amps. 12 volts. We're going to start it off now. Oh, where's it? Oh, there it is. I was picturing the wrong one. There you go. We're starting to count. See how long it takes. Okay, we're closing on uh, 15 minutes right about now. And we'll see that we're about halfway there. I'm not exactly sure if this is going to create some sort of vacuum or something, if this is actually a valid volumetric measurement, but it was cheap, easy, what I got. So, here we are at 15 minutes. Actually, 15 and a half. We'll start again. But anyway, I did want to mention that I've got great output. The distilled water is wonderful for being able to see what's going on. Uh, most of the action, I think, is happening on the rings. You can see that. Um, if you look at the, the screen underneath, it doesn't seem to have anything going on under there. It seems to all be starting from the rings here. But uh, the next step is to take out the neutral ring and get the polarities closer together. And these are just using... Uh, Different measurements are <laughs> different materials from that I can get from the store. So I would like to see what would happen if we can get the polarities closer together, see if that will generate any more gas. Again, this is approximately 16 and a half, 16 something. We're still a little better than a half. We'll be back. Okay, here we are. Same sort of thing. Two and a half amps, 12 volts. The polarity, neutral polarity arrangement. And now we're at approximately three quarters. I mean, three quarters approximately because the bottle's tilted. We are at 24 minutes. Yahoo, back in a few. All right, here we are. It is now approximately, how many minutes is that? I can't see. 29. 28, 28 something. Now we're at the point of equilibrium, pretty much between the gas in the bottle and the atmosphere. As you can see, it wants to go places. So we're kind of curious as to, you know, how long it's going to take to fill up the liter and a half bottle. We can get a measurement on that, then we can take a third off of it, and we'll have an approximate measurement of how long it takes to fill a liter. Again, let's see. Now we're a little past equilibrium. The gas is starting to create more area in the bottle than there. I mean, the water's not at the same level. Uh, it is approximately that time. 33, 33. minutes. And stop. And we'll just have to see when this gets down to the neck. Right now it's probably going to be better if we tilt it that way. Alright, we're pretty much at the magic point. Trying to measure how much water is in, in the... There we go. It would be interesting if I kept it down. It would make it kind of pressurized, but... I'm just curious as to when... The water level hits the neck. At that point, 
you know, even if we're positive from some positive pressure, uh, we'll be there. We'll be at that liter and a half, and it will only have taken 30, you know, maybe 40 minutes. Ooh, we're going great guns now, aren't we? I think we're there. Mm -hmm. Stop. Okay, there. time is 37 minutes, 30 seconds now. That's it. That's how long it takes. That's how many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop. Um, next experiment is to take the uh, to take the uh, neutral plate out of here and try to get the polarities closer together. But again, this was at 12 volts, two and a half amps.